Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another very interesting reading. Yes, I feel like this is compelling and, and interesting, right? Yeah, we have the first card we have is Sagittarius. And uh, no, this was just pulled kind of uh, randomly. Yes, it just you just got your own card. And before we begin, Sagittarius, if you would like a free psychic, a free five minute psychic reading, you may get one. The link is below. It's with Mystic Sense and all the information is in the description box. If you would like your own reading with me, those are available and open. Please see the about tab here on my YouTube page. Okay, let's get into it here. So this Sagittarius card, somebody wants to explore something here. They want their freedom. Uh, they want, they're curious. They want to uh, see what joy they can, what, what can be learned or what can be enjoyed. Yeah, this is about enjoyment and uh, curiosity. And I believe this is about fate and destiny. Yeah, I do believe it is. So somebody here, Sagittarius, it really could be your person, but it may be you because these readings may be switched. Uh, but here, uh, Sagittarius is right here and this is talking about jupiter energy as well this is expansion somebody wants to expand right uh somebody wants an opportunity with you i believe right and now we are uh we have jupiter and taurus and this is major expansion could be love money uh you know uh it could be making your life more stable with uh, jupiter in taurus uh yeah creativity and you know because taurus is venus uh ruled by Venus and Jupiter is your planet. So these are, uh, this is a great marriage going on. Yes, it is. But somebody in this reading could be, a. Uh, they also want are ending something. There's some type of healing going on and we have Maria Sabina over here. Yes. And she was the, uh, native, I believe she was half native and half Mexican. Uh, and she was a beautiful soul and she used to use herbs, uh, I believe, uh, like rituals too, but I know that she, she used herbs to heal people and, uh, here are her hands, the healing hands, right? Uh, it's interesting cause I was watching a movie about, uh, a curandera last night, um, uh, who was a Mexican lady and, uh, you guys, the, the movie, uh, it's on Hulu. Go check it out. It's called bless me Ultima. Yeah. It's a, it's a beautiful movie. So anyway, getting back to this, they stole her. They stole, they started saying that, uh, we're using Maria Sabina's, uh, you know, recipes they basically kind of stole from her and you know unfortunately uh you know we need more people in the world with integrity like her right yeah and so the boar sagittarius we start with the boar and this is like heal uh this is a excuse me anger or danger so this was the first card this is like the overall energy here besides the sagittarius card i pulled this twice i just put it in the middle just because right but uh, this was like, the, this is the overall energy here. I feel like it's with transformation because uh, that is right here as well. And this is just how I'm seeing this today. There's a major change here, a major profound change. Yes. And Jupiter in Taurus will bring changes. It sure will. Yes. Uh, mo mainly good ones, right? Yeah. There could be a blessing in disguise in this reading for somebody. And, but they know who, your person, I believe Sagittarius knows like, this is, uh, like I'm going to have something, I'm going to either end a relationship or I'm going to walk away from something. Uh, I'm going to take, suffer some type of an ending or closure, something like that in order to have an opportunity. This is kind of what I mean by a blessing in disguise, right? Uh, it can also, that can also be called kind of like a can be called like a red light synchronicity. I believe it can be kind of referred to that, right? Which is uh, kind of the opposite of a green light um, synchronicity where a green light one is where you just, an opportunity comes to you and you're like, boom, wow, a uh, great, right? My time for abundance. The red light one can come to you to kind of teach you a lesson, but in the end there is a blessing. Yeah, that's uh, one way to put it. Mm -hmm. I feel like somebody wants a blessing with you. And I also feel like this person here, you guys have some, there's some childhood wound here or a past wound that somebody is, uh, you know, trying to heal here because that's next to healing. And here it is next to trickery. 
Now, somebody could be walking away from somebody here, and I'll get to that in a minute, so that could be the trickery, but it could have been, could have been lying to yourself, right? People do it all the time, and they don't know they are. That is the tragic part. Now, here's Agatha Christie, and her clock says 10 o'clock, high noon. There's no such thing, right? Uh, not yet, but, you know, uh, what's going on uh, in the world is, you know, uh, they don't want everybody confused. So, you know, pretty soon they might make, they might start to make clocks like that. 10 o'clock, high noon, they could. Yeah, and you're saying, what? That sounds nuts. Well, that's how it is. <laughs> and so here she is sitting at the table uh, with this, you know, strange clock. And uh, mm -hmm, she's got, you know, her knife in the potato. The potato, uh, it looks like it's potato, but, you know, I'm not sure here. It's bleeding. And so this is, she's doing some type of kind of a ritual she was, it looks like, because uh, she's got this little bottle with a skeleton on it, yeah, and bones, and you know, and then she's got this kind of little, uh, this little kind of thing that holds like, like candles, I forget what they call that, but, uh, mm -hmm. and so there's some trickery going on here, or there was, and this is uh, a childhood wound that, or a past wound, doesn't have to be childhood. Somebody's growing up in this reading too. And, you know, that's, a uh, that's another thing. Some people, you know, they're going and, uh, they're going through this maturity. Uh, you know, they may think they are completely mature and everybody grows. We grow every, uh, what is it? I think it's every seven years, our body changes, but you know, when your body changes, your brain changes, uh, in some way. Yeah. Some, some level or, uh, some degree for sure. Here's the moon. And this is satisfy emotional needs, nurturing yourself and others. Yeah. Somebody is coming to you to satisfy those needs, Sagittarius. They are. Mm -hmm. And they could be afraid here because they've tricked you in the past that they cannot heal the situation with you because the overall energy is the bore. Now, unless you like wild pig meat, right, and you go out into the, uh, you go into the forest, right, to get a boar, right, uh, yes, just stick to regular pork chops, all right, Sagittarius, yeah, because uh, he'll get you here, right, you ever see his teeth? <laughs> his teeth are like, he has these big, like, what do you call these side teeth, I forgot, right, the, the name of that tooth there, that kind of not in the front it's not in the back it's just right between the front and the side there <laughs> and it sticks out real long yeah it's uh because it's for him to bite of course it is and uh here's transformation we have she who questions okay so this is somebody who's questioning their life in front of them especially next to transformation curiosity destiny and search somebody believes you are their destiny yeah they do and this person, I believe, Sagittarius, or you, is going through something difficult. Or they have. And next to that is it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. All right. So Scorpio, uh, we know, uh, is, uh, is, a, you know, is a very intense sign or an intense energy. Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. Uh, a lot of, of powerful Scorpios in this world there are. And so... Uh, but Scorpio is also, you know, the planet of secrets, things that are unseen, things that are invisible, right? And unknown and hidden. And so, but this is time to release negativity. Mm -hmm. There's some profound, intense energy here and somebody's releasing. I feel like this is your person releasing some type of negativity. It could be a breakup. Uh, it really could be, but let's see what else we have. And somebody, and when I say somebody's growing up, they are, they're like, I need to, I need to grow up from these childhood wounds or a past wound, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just with you. Um, that is unclear. The Panther is here. Uh, and the Panther's reversed. The Panther talks about like the Panther does not want to be stagnated. No, or stagnant. I'm not sure if stagnated is, you know, a proper word here, but Hey, uh, these days it doesn't matter. Unfortunately, fortunately it doesn't. No, you don't have to learn how to spell or, uh, because of auto spell, but you don't have to speak proper either because, uh, they like the, uh, the language confused. Yes, they do. And, uh, not your person, right? So this Panther card reversed, uh, Sagittarius, this is, uh, annihilation of the unnecessary. Somebody's letting go of something that's not, that's no good for them, Right. And it's time to release negativity. Uh, I feel like this person sees you guys as very positive. 
Yeah, like you're bringing growth to their life. Yes. And uh, we see it here with these uh, Oracle cards. And the panther won't stand to see his growth or energy stagnant. He wants to grow and learn and right. And so he purges things from his life that he knows are necessary. Yes. Instead, the pouncer, the panther pounces into our lives and causes all kinds of havoc with the ultimate intention of bringing us toward more fulfilling lives. Yeah. There's some type of uh, major upheaval here that is like a blessing in disguise. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. And it's unexpected, uncomfortable, and sometimes feels devastating. But after all the dust clears, it's easy to see the panther's wisdom at work. We've all been through these experiences, and they've made us better people. They make you better people, and they make you a stronger person, of course, right? Trust that the panther's journey always leads to a brighter place. Yeah, and you know, with that being said, when you are a stronger person, you're always a better person. You just always are. It's the people who are weaker, who are meaner, who are jealous, who are, those people are weak and, you know, they're trying to put up a front that they're strong. No, they're not. When you're strong, you have no reason to try to hurt anybody, put people down. You just don't, right? No. And so trust that the Panther's journey always leads to a brighter place. This, uh, in, you know, in the upright, uh, this talks about being brave and productive in the reverse. This is self-destructive. Now, there could be some kind of self-destructive energy here because we have, it's time to release negativity. We have trickery and we have the boar starting the reading, which is either danger or arguing. Yeah, that's it. It's danger or fighting basically. Yeah. And so we also have here, uh, last but not least, last but never least, right? This charity card. And here is like the military guy, whoever he is, right? I don't know, the sergeant, the, you know, the sheriff, whatever. Of course, this is somebody kind of, mm -hmm, they're showing him as, you know, as kind of a corrupt uh, authority figure here, right? Of course, he's cutting this cape here. And uh, the man, that's the man that belongs to the man sitting on the ground. And he's very cold, right? Here he is with a sleeveless, you know, sleeveless outfit here. And uh, he's cold and he's looking at him like, why are you cutting my cape? I need it, right? Why are you cutting my jacket or my cape? And, you know, he thinks he's doing it, you know, they all think they're, some of them, because it's such a distorted mind here, that he's doing him a favor. Yeah, that's what he thinks by, you know, cutting his jacket up here. Now, this is the Three of Swords and they actually call this charity. Yeah, and uh, that's really interesting because uh, whatever is being done, is, uh, in the bigger, you know, in the bigger, uh, stage is always, uh, being done as we're going to help. We're going to make things good here. And yeah, it's always like that. Right. Uh, and of course, right. It's just a bunch of bull. So, but that's what he's doing to him. He's cutting his jacket. Now this talks about giving somebody what they need here. This person could be like, your person could be like going through something really difficult and they feel like they need it. The three of swords is here. Yeah. And they feel like they need that. So this is kind of like, well, I need to go through some rough bumps here because at the end of it all, I want, um, I'm seeking growth and I'm seeking something beautiful. And I feel like it's with you Sagittarius. Yes, I do. And so, yeah. And so let's get into the reading, into the tarot portion, and we will see how this pans out yeah or how this uh develops is a very is a much nicer word right so i hope you guys are all well sagittarius and that was a very long uh oracle reading yeah okay we'll see you guys tomorrow right <laughs> let's see what we have and uh somebody said that i was drinking in the video yesterday or something i sounded like i was drinking it could be a uh, melatonin i took the night before yeah nobody drinks here uh, it's pretty early to, yeah, no. <laughs> so let's see what we have uh, for Sagittarius and their person. And we have, uh, let's get one more shuffle. And the moon is here twice in the reading. Here it is, satisfying emotional needs. Uh, and this is interesting how it's right with your card, Sagittarius. And this is always how it is. I just pull from, you know, I have all these decks. I just pull a card or two, sometimes a few. Uh, and you know, I never see them, of course, they're always face down, but you know, the order they come out in is, is, is supposed to, it's supposed to be like that, right? It's telling a story here. 
And there's a transformation here because you are satisfying this person's needs. And they know this now. So they didn't know it before. They could have been a real, maybe they were a jerk with the doll, kind of with these childhood wounds next to the trickery card, right? Mm -hmm. And they could have tricked themselves because trickery is next to the childhood wounds or the, you know, old, this is a past wound, some type of a past wound. So let's see. And the Empress, Nine of Swords. And the sun is here, and we're going to cover these little kids because they're babies. But hey, you know, they might say that those babies need a bathing suit. They really could here. Uh, not your person. And here's the sun, Sagittarius. But, you know, they're carrying the red flag in this deck. So they're both, they're pulling on the red flag. This is, somebody here got a red flag in their life. Yeah, they did. Not the kind when, you know, you're skiing in the, you know, on the lake and uh, put the red flag up. Well, that's, that's for danger here. This person got, uh, you know, possible danger. This person got a red flag in their life or received one or lived one or right. They did. And that's why we have she who questions curiosity, destiny, and search. This person, their search is over Sagittarius because of you. Yeah. Let's see what we have. Sagittarius is a traviesa, right? You guys know what that is? <laughs> see what we have. It's like a troublemaker. <laughs> it's okay, Sagittarius. Don't get mad, right? Somebody used to say that to me a long time ago. Yeah, I think he was a Virgo who used to say that. I used to work with him. He goes, you're a troublemaker. Just a little bit. Just a little. I'm like, well, what does that mean, right? And then I used to work with this lady when I was, uh, she was the... Uh, she was the receptionist in the in the realty office, you know, and I was an agent. And uh, she used to go, uh-oh, here comes trouble when I'd walk in. I'd go, God, what did I do here? <laughs> so uh, it's, we are kind of seen that way, just a little bit, though, right? And uh, that's okay, because if you don't stir things up in life, you don't get anything. If you don't stir the pot a little bit, right? I don't mean in a negative way. So in the heart of the matter here, the overall energy for you is the Empress, Sagittarius. You are the empress. You're the queen of the meadow here. You are. And here's all your organic crops in the back. They are. You go, oh, don't, don't come over here and spray my food. Yeah, don't. Because my kids, you know, my kids are here. And uh, I don't want that. Yeah, don't want it. And it also, uh, you know, it's hurting my groundwater here, right? Here you are, Sagittarius. And, you know, this is somebody who's nurtured and loved. Typically, this is a very nurturing uh, energy. It is. Mm-hmm. And the Nine of Swords sits with it. He's fighting, right? He's sitting here uh, in his nightshirt, right? And uh, he's in bed. And he's sitting up and he's fighting the dragon. Here comes a dragon down the wall. And he, he sits up and he goes, just go away. Just get the heck out of here, right? He's got a huge sword. Uh, you know, the sword is, looks so heavy and big that, hey, uh, it could be your own demise, right? Holding something that you can't really use. <laughs> so here he is. He's fighting his uh, fears and the dragon comes down the, down the wall. Now, you know, uh, here, Sagittarius, this is uh, somebody who's fighting their fears to come towards you. And maybe they want to release negativity with you, kind of. Maybe you guys had something negative. Maybe it was a breakup. But there's a lot of learning and healing here. And this is really what life is about, right? Yeah, that's why we never learn from, from really happy things, right? We just, I mean, it's great because, you know, uh, we all need happiness in our life and opportunities and good things. But unfortunately, you know, the school of hard knocks is the best teacher. That's just how it is, right? So if you're going through something hard, center yourself, meditate. Yeah, my daughter told me last night she was meditating. I'm like, oh, good, right? Yes, very good. And so, and she's in a better place, yeah. So we have the two of pentacles reversed. And this is, uh, this is like unfolding or what you are focusing on here. So Sagittarius, you already made up your mind about this. And this is you, the hunter, very curious about this other person. Uh, or this is them. I feel like it's them. And we'll talk about that near the end of the reading. And the world card showing up. She's in her birthday suit again, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, this is showing up here. Somebody is ending a cycle to begin a new cycle. This is a cycle of joy, maturity, 
uh, but we have to go through the bumps first or the hard part. And that's what transformation is, right? It usually is. Transformation usually comes with some feeling of discomfort or uncomfortability, right? Like, yeah, being uncomfortable. And that's what the panther talks about. And at the end, the panther, uh, you know, sees joy in his life and abundance. But for a while, he, he has to take a few licks. Yeah. And the Ten of Cups in the past with the King of Swords. See, this decision's already been made. And you are this person's happily ever after, I believe, or they are yours. And the King already made the decision. All he has to do is let the bird go here, right? It's all he has to do. He's afraid of the boar here, Sagittarius. He said, the boar might eat me. <laughs> uh, and so, you know... Uh, but I feel like there's either danger here. This person could be afraid too, afraid of you. It's possible. Afraid to come forward because of a past wound that you guys share. Something like that here. What's helping you is the son and the two kids here. Uh, I don't know. They are three or four years old maybe. But here they are. They're both holding the red flag. And, you know, the way they're pulling on it, this is kind of a tension and a flow. And I feel like there is tension in this reading, but the flow is you. The flow is that this person feels like I'm going towards Sagittarius is my flow. Yeah, you are Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is helping you. This person has been illuminated here. They went through this transformation, which sits above it, right? This lady, she, you know, she sees that she's feeling it. I'm going through a transformation and she's looking kind of in the sky like, whoa, this feels different. I feel a shift. I feel change. Yeah. And with the eclipse, yeah, there could be a lot of endings here and a lot of new beginnings. And here's the Wheel of Fortune. It is. And, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, here we are. Yeah, here are these animals here. And, you know, but let me just cover them. It's kind of ridiculous. But they could say that those are people and they're not dressed. Yeah, it's, it's really ridiculous. But the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, is showing up with the sun. This is beautiful. This is good luck and expansion. Uh, beautiful opportunities here. Yes, when we see these two cards together. Uh, this is your fate and destiny. This person was illuminated. Yeah, they got some type of awakening. Oh, they, they had, right? Then they got, but they, they had some type of an awakening uh, that is, that has awakened them, that has illuminated them and has came to them. Maybe an angel came to them. There's angels here on this card on the Wheel of Fortune. They could have had dreams about you. The moon is over here. Uh, but they, this person knows that you are fate and destiny. The three of wands is in the near future. This is, you're gonna, this is gonna happen for you. This is uh, moving forward with this person. The three of wands having a future. I believe it is. And your advice is the two of wands. And he's holding her shoulder to move forward with her. And together they hold the globe. So this is your advice. This is this is your wake up, Sagittarius. This person already chose you, pretty sure here. And uh, from whoever this really resonates. And the Ten of Pentacles, this is reversed in your environment. See, this is a breakup right here or some type of an ending, a completion. Uh, yeah, maybe somebody's losing money. The Ten of Pentacles are reversed. But I feel like it is more like... Uh, yeah, it is uh, kind of more like some type of a breakup or a completion. And this is how you affect this person. So you are prompting them to like finish a cycle up. Yeah, you are. And you're doing this very indirectly or telepathically or I feel like it's telepathically. And that doesn't mean that you read somebody's mind. It means that you guys are both kind of having the same thoughts. And I feel like, yeah, and I learned that the other day kind of, right? Yeah, I kind of thought it was reading somebody's mind, but uh, that's kind of similar when you're having the same thoughts, right? I feel like you both feel like your your fate and destiny. Your hopes and fears is the seven of wands. And so this is, uh, you're hoping that this is not going to be maybe challenging. Maybe you're hoping this person won't resist this, right? Maybe you, you know that this person's fighting with somebody for some because he's fighting, right? Uh, mm -hmm. But I feel like you are hoping that this is going to flow. I feel like you are. And in the outcome is judgment. And this is a rebirth. And judgment never comes without pain. I'm sorry. It doesn't because, uh, you know, there's a death here with judgment, right? And she's waking up the dead, but there's still a death. Uh, and now there is rebirth, right? And your person's, uh, the beginning of their extended Sagittarius, they start with the Joker. 
Now, the Joker is the black cat. This is somebody who can be jealous. Uh, there's two Jokers uh, in, in this deck here. One is the black cat and one is the black dog. Uh, and the black cat is like a female presence that is jealous, mean, envious, or somebody, they could be hurt, right? But it's somebody here who, uh, who does not want the best for other people. Like, yeah. And so crossing your person or supporting or challenging that energy is the seventh house. This is Libra. This is profound relationships and romantic partnerships. And we see the two doves here. And these are the, you know, the two turtle doves here that are coming together like a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> I had to say that <laughs> because it's what it reminds me of, right? It's a, the Christmas song that I used to love when I was a kid, right? And so it's about somebody getting blessings. Yes, it is. And, you know, uh, every day of the Christmas season, there's another blessing. Yeah, and some of it is very basic, but it's very beautiful in that, right? Because it's humble, yeah. And it shows you that small things are, you know, uh, you know, important. They talk about the milking maids, right? This is about food and, you know, and having milk and things like that. Okay. So we have the 10 of cups here, and this is why it's all happening. And Sagittarius, this Libra card t showing up in your person's, uh, right here in their challenge or supporting card, the challenge is here because they're leaving somebody very jealous or envious. I'm almost for sure. Uh, for some, this is very clear right? Maybe they're really jealous here and they don't know if they're going to get back together with you. That's a possibility here, but I feel like it is more like somebody else. But uh, regardless here, the, the, the why it's all happening, excuse me, you guys, for your person is the 10 of cups. You are there happily ever after. And the 10 of cups sits in the reading and this person already decided you are there happily ever after right here because it sits in the past with the king of swords, uh, only, yeah, he's already decided his sword is out of his hand. So we're going to go to the extended and we're going to see all about your person, Sagittarius. And I feel like this card supporting them, uh, was that they feel like you are their, you know, you're their other half, right? The seventh house, like you're like their twin or, you know, you are fate and destiny for them, but it challenges them, as I said, because of somebody here. Yeah. And they have to end something here with transformation and the Panther and, yeah, and this childhood wound and things like that or a past wound. So we're going to go to the extent that they're all super affordable. I also have a tarot spread, Sagittarius, for your person. And uh, we'll start the tarot spread here. Uh, and let's see what their overall energy could be. Show me their overall energy, please. Show me the overall energy of Sagittarius's person. It is the Nine of Cups. There you go. So you are their wish. So we have the link below. They're all super affordable. It's in the description box. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless. And uh, yeah, please remember to like, share, and subscribe.